Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three Dare brand crackers. Uh, we found all three of these in the manager special in Kroger, which is actually funny, I'll tell you in just a minute. Uh, but we have the, uh, these are Dare Breton Originals. These are the Cabernet Crisp and Buttery. And I've got the grains first, whole grain and seeds. What's funny, I think, is I haven't talked to Kevin about this, um, and he'll probably think it's funny too. We, the reason why we made sure we bought these in the manager special at Kroger is because they were marked down to $1.99. We've been in Walmart recently. The normal price is $1.99 at Walmart. But it's possible. So we did not get them at a discount at all at Kroger. We got them at a discount from Kroger. From Kroger. <laughs> they had been, I think, like two, maybe two sixty something at Kroger. Yeah down to a dollar 99 but i have looked they're in the where the ritz crackers right. and stuff like that are and they're up like high on the shelf and i um when we were there the other day i made sure that i, I took note and i thought uh-huh we didn't get those at a discount at all in the manager special so you think that's what they the, the mind games they play you think by it having that yellow sticker that you're getting a good deal and you're not. That's just like in Walmart, they have that whole clearance aisle of yellow stickers. Nine times out of 10, we don't buy, we don't even go down that aisle because it's just a mind game. Yeah, because we've looked on like Amazon for the exact same thing, same price. Kevin has an app on his phone and he'll scan it and it's like, that's not any cheaper and yeah. sometimes it's more expensive. Yeah, occasionally it'll be cheaper, but not, not often. Yeah, so just know that, just because yeah. it has a yellow sticker doesn't mean you're getting a good deal. But we had never had these and I'm gonna be very honest with you, when we saw these, we thought they were the Dare brand from Canada. They, it looks like the same logo from Canada that's, or it reminds us of the ones that we've tried with the cookies, like the maple cookies um, and the coconut cookies. They have awesome cookies. These are actually from Spartanburg, South Carolina. It says very specifically, product of the USA. So uh, that is interesting uh, as well. So these, are the Breton Original Light Tender Crisp Texture Crackers. Uh, peanut free, that's important. Um, it says you can top them with aged cheddar cheese, sliced apple, a drizzle of honey. Yeah, imagine a cracker with that. You can add uh, cream cheese, red pepper chutney, chopped fresh chives. That's the multi-grain. Okay, and I see. And then they're telling you what to top the Cabernet with. Okay. Oh, wow. Four crackers is 90 calories. That's bad. That's good. It kind of reminds you of a... It's very light. It reminds you a little bit of a club cracker. It's not quite as buttery, but it reminds you of a club cracker. A I little was, bit of a rip. I wasn't expecting it to be... Um, that airy it's yeah. very airy yeah even though it's very thin i agree it's almost flaky like yeah, uh, it's almost um flaky like mm -hmm. that's a good cracker i could see you couldn't dip that in something though no it, it would, would crack it fire bar in 100 pieces but you could put stuff on it and set it out i think you would still need to be careful though you because wouldn't. it's so it's so delicate yeah i, I really Those are like good, good flavor it's delicious these are party crackers this is what I, I would I consider party crackers. I agree. Yeah, if you want a fancy, fancy mm -hmm. crackers, these aren't your Zesta, you know? Um, Zesta. Just a square saltine. Just a, a saltine <laughs> cracker. Yeah, I'll, hey, I like a saltine cracker. I do now, like Kevin and I have debated about that since we have first got married. Boring cracker. He, he will not eat a saltine cracker. And I, I like them. I really do. Um, Especially with like chili. Nope. I don't want the flavor. I love Ritz. I like Ritz just like anybody. The nice buttery Ritz cracker. But I don't want a Ritz cracker in my chili. Because I don't want that buttery flavor in my chili. I want just a regular saltine cracker in my chili. And you just don't get that. No. Nope. These are the Cabernet Crisp and Buttery. Mm. Three crackers of 70 calories. Two a cracker too. That reminds you of a Ritz. 
It's not as better. It's not, not better than Not quite. Well, it's a little bit there. Wait until you've eaten a little bit more of it and get that flavor. Because the aftertaste oh. is, it almost is dead on a Ritz. It's not quite a Ritz, but it's, it's close. It has the, it's more butter. To me, that reminds me more of the flavor of a club cracker. Yeah, see the first one reminds me of a club cracker. Yeah, this one reminds me more of the flavor in a club yeah. cracker than a Ritz cracker. They're good. Well, I agree. They're, it's they're a kind different of club, shape. Club crackers. But it tastes like a club cracker. Yeah, I agree with you. But I like a club cracker. They're very you similar. Like, you like club crackers. I like club crackers. But you club still like... Cracker. I still like Ritz. You still like Ritz better. <laughs> yeah. He, you will not get Kevin to eat a saltine. He would just rather uh, not eat one yeah, at all. Not and I just disagree. And if you've been sick, no. there's nothing better on earth if you've been sick and you haven't been able to eat anything I need to than to have a glass of uh, Diet Sprite and a package of a sleeve of Zesta crackers. Tell him in Ritz the comments. Ritz Tell crackers. Him. You need rich crackers you when you've been sick. You don't want too. buttery crackers when you've been sick. I do. <laughs> These are the grains first, whole grain and seeds. These are 80 calories for four. And mm. these are the ones that it said uh, top with ranch dip, sliced avocado, or bacon bits. No, boy, though. Oh. Sesame seeds, that's what I thought. Those taste like the sesame sticks. Mm hmm. Those are really good too. That would go really good with uh, with a cheese or a, a ranch of some kind. Those are excellent. Those um, those have more uh, layers of flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. So these are these are both kind of a, like a one flavor cracker. It, it is you get what you get. This is kind of like. Every time you chew a little bit more, or you get some in the pockets of your mouth, it's kind of a little, uh, a different uh, flavor that mm -hmm. you're getting each time. No. The biggest flavor for me is sesame, but you do get uh, the grains too, the whole grain yeah. flavor too. Just, uh, yeah, just know that uh, it's this, this is not a plain cracker. This, no, no, it's good. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, it's not my, um, it wouldn't be an everyday cracker. Like I but, said, these are party crackers. What will be interesting is which one are you going to pick as your number one? Hmm. Because you have to pick a number one. Which one would I just snack on? Yes. Um, probably the first one. That's the one I would pick. The, Bre the first one was the Breton. Yeah. Uh, that would be my number one too. I like that. At I least agree. that's how I say it. Breton? 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you all say that. Um, but um, yeah, that would be my number one too because they're so easy to eat and they're so soft and they just collapse in your mouth that you could eat a lot of these and, and not even realize it. They're very, very good. Very good. I think all these are good. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, they're, they're the size and the flavor and the textures are really good for like a party. A party, track. yes. Absolutely. Whether you put stuff on it first or you have it to where it's on their plate and, and people put stuff on them, um, they're, they're really good. Well, just know that they sell them at Walmart for a yeah, dollar ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, you can get them at Walmart. They're in the cracker aisle if you're interested in trying them. Um, and make sure you vote below for um, if you think you should have a Zesta cracker after you've been sick. <laughs> so I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.